What's up, everybody? It's FYGP, and today I wanted to discuss another killing of al-Baghdadi. Yes, how many times are they, in fact, going to kill al-Baghdadi? I think it's up to five or six times that they have killed him by now. So, um, the news has come that he was apparently killed in Idlib province, which makes no sense because that territory is under control of Jabhat al-Nusra, mortal enemy of ISIS, not really friendly with ISIS. So... It makes no sense that he was located there, absolutely none whatsoever. And uh, I would put the term hoax in the title, but of course, YouTube, which allows no free speech whatsoever when it comes to, you know, the truth basically about the war on terror, they will take it down if they see the word hoax in the title. So I'm just going to leave it out and going to just talk about this yeah, here in the video, but it is a clear hoax. So let's take a look at the official narrative given by puppet president Donald Trump. Last night, the United States brought the world's number one terrorist leader to justice. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is dead. He was the founder and leader of ISIS, the most ruthless and violent terror organization anywhere in the world. The United States has been searching for Baghdadi for many years. Capturing or killing Baghdadi has been the top national security priority of my administration. U.S. Special Operations Forces executed a dangerous and daring nighttime raid. You know, just like with Osama bin Laden, so they bring up the same fake phony script again. And um, we're gonna take a look at an article by uh, RT, uh, and that is going to question the validity of this, um, you know, this rate. Uh, yeah, let's take a look and, and continue at the official narrative. In northwestern Syria and accomplished their mission in grand style. The U.S. personnel were incredible. I got to watch much of it. <laughs> so they released one of the pictures. You remember all the Obama picture with um, Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden uh, and um, others as well sitting there in the Situation Room. I can Google it for you real quickly. Um, so they were allegedly watching the killing of Osama bin Laden. Uh, right, you remember this picture here? Yes, yeah. Well, uh, they brought out a similar picture with Trump and Mike Pence and the current Defense Secretary sitting also in the uh, Situation Room and uh, watching the killing of al-Baghdadi. Uh, let me find that picture. Mm, should be here, yes, it's here. So it's again the same script, pretty much a raid, a nighttime raid on the compound. They're watching it. Of course, they're not really watching it, so it's complete bullshit. Nothing happened. The Russian Defense Ministry confirmed that there was no U.S. strikes in that area that day. So it's complete another bullshit. And they couldn't have gone unnoticed throughout Syrian and Russian airspace. So uh, let's take a look at some further inconsistencies with the official story. No personnel were lost in the operation, while a large number of Baghdadi's fighters and companions were killed with him. He died after running into a dead-end tunnel. He died after running into a dead-end tunnel. Now, why exactly? Tell me, why exactly would he try to escape through a dead-end tunnel? It makes no sense. Whimpering and crying and screaming all the way. <laughs> and he had dragged three of his young children with him. They were led to certain death. He reached the end of the tunnel as our dogs chased him down. He ignited his vest, killing himself and the three children. 
Uh, how did he have his West by his side? I don't know. Maybe he keeps it all the time next to his bed. I've no idea, but it's still very funny that he blew himself up, right? His body was mutilated by the blast. The tunnel <laughs> had caved in on it in addition. <laughs> so you look the tunnel. He went in the dead end tunnel. Nobody knows why he exactly would go in there because it's a dead end tunnel. It's not a tunnel if it's a dead end so by definition it cannot be a tunnel it's a hole in the ground so al-baghdadi went inside a hole in the ground for no apparent reason because i mean you would try to escape i guess but no you wouldn't try to go into a hole in the ground right because they will find find you right they will follow you so he, tr he tried to go in this hole in the ground and then when the u.s attack dogs were near he blew himself up uh, there's no mention of any dogs being killed of the U.S. Army, but apparently he took three of his children with him to hell. So that's the official narrative. And of course, the tunnel caved in. Therefore, there could be uh, like no apparent evidence. His body is blown to bits. So there's no really no captives. So there's no witnesses or anything of this raid. It's completely ridiculous. So, you know, it's just... <laughs> It's just, how ridiculous can you get? So he goes into a fucking hole in the ground, blows, him, blows himself up, and there's no evidence left whatsoever. But somehow they can still identify him, even though he's probably blown, blown into thousand bits. I have no idea how they can identify him. And uh, in such a short amount of time, he said that the raid lasted only for two hours. So that's, that's completely ridiculous. It's a complete another hoax. If you want to believe this bullshit, then, uh, you know, you, you must be really mind controlled. But test results gave certain immediate and totally positive identification. It was him. Uh, what kind of test results? I mean, do you have his DNA somewhere or what? I've, I have no idea. After all, he was in a U.S. prisoner or what? <sighs> it just makes no sense. He went into a hole, blew himself up, then the ground above the hole collapsed and uh, he's just you know blown into thousand bits <laughs> there's no witnesses there's no captives there's no people who could elaborate elaborate the story um complete another bullshit just another hoax same with the osama bin laden raid that happened back in 2011 i believe it's the same old script again and uh, in fact, the Russian Ministry of Defense confirmed that um, Trump is basically lying here. Um, let, let me take a look. Let me find it real quick. Russian military questions. Wait, it should be here. Where? Russian military questions, U.S. account of raids that killed ISIS leader. So what they said... Firstly, on Saturday and the recent days, no airstrikes were made on the Idlib de-escalation zone by U.S. aircraft or so-called international coalition. That's what uh, Konashenkov said. That's a Russian general, basically. Uh, secondly, we are not aware of any alleged assistance to the passage of American aviation into the airspace of the Idlib de-escalation zone during this operation. So Trump claimed that the Russians helped in the operation. The Russians are denying that they knew anything of it. And uh, he also added um, that Baghdadi's death has absolutely no operational significance on the situation in Syria or on the actions of the remaining terrorists in Idlib. And why would he hide out in Idlib? Right? Makes no sense. That Idlib town is controlled by Last the night, the United Shabbat al-Nusra. So, you know, it's just a two different factions. So, of course, we have Benjamin Netanyahu already congratulating him, uh, Trump on the killing, so alleged killing, hoax killing of al-Baghdadi. And as I mentioned before, al-Baghdadi was killed like 12 times by the U.S. government, once by the Russians. So, I mean, we're, how many times are you going to believe a, you know, a bullshit lie by the propaganda department of 
the United States empire. So I'm talking about all these sites, Washington Post, Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg, MSNBC, Reuters, all of them are lying to you. And all of them are not questioning this bullshit narrative that al-Baghdadi went into a hole in the ground and was allegedly killed by, I don't know, by blowing himself, blowing himself up. So <laughs> here's another illustration. They love those illustrations, don't they? Just to bring you the bullshit. Let me just show it to you. Okay, let's take a look. They use the tag dogs. Okay, let's take a look. October 26th, 5 p.m. Washington, D.C. Donald Trump goes into the White House Situation Room alongside his generals and Vice President Mike Pence to watch the events unfold in real time. Yeah, we heard that story before. Same with Bin Laden. It looks like the house that they drew here looks almost like the house of Bin Laden, too. Uh, I like actually the fucking location where Baghdadi was allegedly killed. I can show it to you real quick. Um, it looks nothing like a house. It looks like a bunch of ruins. Um, here's the site. See where the raid on Baghdadi took place in northwest Syria. Uh, let me take a look. Here's it on the map. It's controlled by al-Nusra, this area. It's this kind of compound, I guess. In yeah, here it is, satellite images. And allegedly, they immediately bombed the compound to destroy any evidence, to, to just make sure that there's nothing left of it, and, you know, just to make sure that nobody can ever investigate this hoax, this bullshit-ass hoax that happened here. They immediately bombed it afterwards. <laughs> uh, yeah, real good. So there's no body, there's no witnesses, there's no evidence whatsoever but allegedly uh, the first special forces operation detachment detachment delta deploy on eight helicopters from an air base in iraq on a, on a journey over the very dangerous terrorist territory i can barely read it it's so small i mean they could have probably made it bigger right so yeah <laughs> we uh we flew very low and very fast says trump the U.S. helicopters fly over Russian-controlled airspace during the mission, something which the Russians actually denied that ever happened. <laughs> um, all, hail, all hell breaks loose as elite Delta Force commandos come up against local gunfire from randoms as they approach targets. That gunfire was immediately terminated by U.S. forces, Trump says. The troops close in with the Barisha village in Idlib, a uh, province in northwestern Syria in an area controlled by Hayat Tashrir al Shram, also known as Jabhat al Nusra, a jihadi rebel group hostile to the Islamic State, where Baghdadi is believed to be hiding. It makes no sense. Why would he be hiding on the territory of a terrorist group that is hostile to ISIS? It makes no sense whatsoever. It's complete bullshit. And here's your Baghdadi, right? He goes into a hole in the ground where he basically. Kills him, he kills themselves. And two hours later, they uh, drone strike it and destroy the compound immediately, right? <laughs> Leaving no evidence whatsoever. And they also use these canines, right? And, uh, yeah. Just another hoax. Just rebranding the script, kind of repackaging it again. The old script from the Bin Laden killing hoax, they bring it back once again for al-Baghdadi and this is just in the right time one year before the election begins so it's yeah so you know people think I guess that the US government is keeping them safe when in fact they created ISIS in the first place as a factor to remove Assad from power here's the people in this situation room uh, just another complete hoax and of course i mean that's that tells you everything the fact that they just bombed the compound after instead of securing it and maybe gathering the evidence makes no sense they just yeah blew it up i guess <laughs> there's no uh there's no evidence of the u.s even conducting a strike there or a raid which the russian defense ministry confirmed they said there is no there was no U.S. strikes on that day. 
was there? Yes, another complete, another propaganda campaign. Let me just.